so is general design strategy is break down the IIR filter into second order filters. And we know that we can easily combine filters the way that we have at the end a sequence of second order filters here. Second order filters. And so every every filter here has usually one complex conjugate con conjugate pole pair and and one or two zeros but with that we can easily determine the stability of the whole filter and we can also generate highly optimized second order stages and then just worry about the optimization of these stages and then combine them basically just as an add-on or as a footnote So what if we have an odd filter order to break down? And obviously the answer is, is of this one here, so if this is the question. So the answer is this we add one first order pole to it at the end. So this pole usually needs to be real. Needs to be real so that the output is real overall. So, so this means that so we've got our second order, so we've got our second order, and then we have a first order filter at the output. So that's, that's complex conjugate, these two here. And then this one, the last one here, has a real pole. So how do, how do real poles What do real poles generate? So if we if we have a real pole, that's our unit circle here, and the real pole is sitting here, so it's real, and this is here, imaginary here, then then the output x of n is is an exponential decay and the and the frequency response 
to that here. So if this is here e to j omega, then the frequency response is something like this, which is a low pass. But important, it's stable because it's within the unit circle. Interesting aspect or interesting twist of that is so if we have unit circle here and the pole is sitting sitting on the other side here. So imagine Im so that's imaginary here and that's real. So that the impulse response looks very interesting here in this case x of n and n and in this case I need to I need to draw it really in impulses because the impulse response looks like that. So it's basically an alternating sequence which decays and the frequency response of this one here e h to e to j omega is this way and this is a high pass. That's a general ob observation in digital signal processing that if if the pole sits on the left hand side it's usually a high pass and if it's sitting on the right hand side it's a low pass. So that's the interesting aspect of this. Just to to add the case here. So if you have a unit circle here, just be sure that this here, so that's one. So if the if the pole is sitting here, so it's our real value. If the pole is sitting here, then obviously the output x of n is unstable because it's outside of the unit circle. So we're getting something like that. So usually the implementation the implementation of a real pole is usually just um, take a second order IIR and don't use the the second delay line. So we're just starting again. So we're essentially using in IRR filter design always our second order building block here. So we're feeding something back here and let's call this here A and call this here this here B and um, as we know the first order pull only needs one delay step here so this means in this case here just the B is set to zero and we again just using a second order filter for this but we just essentially don't don't use this here this pathway so don't use it but use second order but use the second order building block anyway <laughs>